Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make many teaching paint parties online, in person, and with art kits. And I am going to show y'all just the fun project I'm working on. I'm actually going to be creating a Dolly Parton chest of, um, it's like a dresser, a Dolly Parton chester drawer dresser type thing. So I'm very, very excited, and I hope this works out. <laughs> We will see. I'm really nervous about it because y'all know I love Dolly Parton so much and I have to cut her into pieces for this to work, okay? So this project was inspired by one of my members, her name's Vicki in Paint Party Headquarters and she did a really cool um, barrel racer. I don't know if y'all have ever seen those um, Chester drawers like um, dresser drawers where they're, they're barrel racers on top. Has anybody ever seen those or have done anything like that? Um, so here's where I'm a little nervous. So I'm gonna be using Mod Podge and then I'm going to be measuring this in front of y'all and I'm going to be Mod Podging this on here. So this could be a total disaster. Hey guys, thank y'all for saying hi as you come on. Um, this could be a total disaster and I could probably delete this live when I'm done or if it turns out good, we will leave it on here. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to, we're going to find out. Um, oh good. So Mary says I've done several of those projects, but with Marilyn Monroe, that's awesome. So for those of y'all that are just tuning in, make sure you say hi. Let me know if you love Dolly. We're going to be doing, um, a Dolly Parton kind of Chester drawers here, um, and I am excited, I'm very excited. I don't think I'm saying that right, Chester drawers. I don't know, I don't know if I'm, am I, am I saying that right? I don't know. Okay, so first I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna be pointing this, I'm gonna be working on my messy floor. Um, you might see my toes, and I have the ugliest feet in the world, so I got my dad's feet. If my dad's watching, love you dad, but you got ugly feet. And I got your feet. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to be doing that. And I'm going to um, actually slice this. And I'm so nervous. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is measure. So I'm going to have to measure where I want this. So I'm going to start with her head up at the top. Let me make sure. Kim, thank you. You have a lot of confidence in me. Yeah, I'm going to need a, a lot of Mod Podge for this. Okay, so... Who thinks that I'm gonna be able to do this? <laughs> who thinks Who thinks I might screw it up? Chest of drawers. Yeah, I knew I was close. <laughs> I knew I was close. Okay, so I don't want to cut her eyes. And this is just, I paid $5 for this. This is just like a, a printout of, um, that I got done at, at, I believe Staples. Bobby went and got it for me today. I think we got it at Staples. So I want her her face mainly on one of the drawers. So I'm actually going to start this up here because I don't want to have to cut that part too much, okay? So we're going to start right here. So I'm just going to mark that. And then I'm going to work on the ground. <laughs> Thank you, Lynette. Oh, I'm a little nervous, I got to admit. Thank y'all so much, Linda, and y'all are awesome. I hope so, Lori. We're going to know here and in a few minutes. And those of y'all that are sprinkling the love, I appreciate it. Maybe you have a, a dolly, dolly friend out there. Okay, so I'm gonna measure this and I'm going to use a pencil. That's what I'm gonna do first. Oh, my art studio is such a mess. Okay. And then I want to just try to get as straight as I can. Can y'all see, okay? Okay, so I'm measuring, make sure. Living in New England, I love hearing someone else who has my accent. Oh, thanks, Leah. Leah, we don't have accents, do we? <laughs> hey, Tina. Yes, her eyes have got to be seen. Yes, you are right. Beautiful Dolly Parton. Okay, so now I'm gonna measure this, and it's just under two, oh crap. I almost pushed the whole thing over. So I got this dresser at um, Goodwill. So Bobby picked it up for me from Goodwill. I'm gonna do it just a little bit. Okay, so what I did, y'all, just so you can see what I did, is I measured on the dresser, 
but I want the background of the dresser to show a little bit. So right here, I went ahead and measured where I want it. Oh, is this crooked? Is, is my camera crooked? Hold on, let me make sure you're getting to see as much as you can. Is that, is that better, maybe? Double check your first line, yardstick moved. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Yeah, measure twice, cut once. Okay, so right here, I want, yeah, I want that to show a little bit. So that's where I want my 10. It's not gonna be 10. And then let me make sure. So that was right there. This is some deep thought. Usually I'm, oh crap, my yardstick did move. Whoever said that, thank you so much. I would have messed up the whole thing. Okay, so let me try this again. So I want her head, I'll put it back down on the floor here in just a second. Her eyes here. <laughs> Y'all know this is a new project for me because I'm like trying to to um not mess it up. Okay, so I want it right here. Y'all know this is a new project for me when I'm not talking very much, right? Because I'm concentrating so hard. Okay, so we're at. right there okay I hope everybody's I hope everybody's rooting for me to um to do this good <laughs> and not just watching to see if I fail miserably in front of everybody <laughs> let's see y'all wouldn't be that way huh I know y'all y'all are rooting for the because nobody wants the the dolly to to not look cute Okay, so now I measured from the top because, yeah, my, my yardstick moved. So whoever said that in the comments, thank you so much because that would be awful. Okay, so now that I have my first line, I have this part is going to be just under 10. So now I'm going to go right next to it, and I'm going to measure on this side, and I'm going to measure on this side. So those of y'all that are art teachers and you've done a lot of like graph type stuff, this may be a little easier for you. Um, I remember one year as an art teacher, I did the graph, the scale thing as for Starry Night, but I forgot one thing. Can anybody guess what I forgot? <laughs> it was a big thing. <laughs> I forgot one of the most important parts of the graph drawing. I forgot to number them. And because I forgot to number them, oh my gosh, I couldn't put them all back together. We tried for weeks putting the pieces back together and it did not work. Okay, so before I keep cutting, I'm going to bring it back up here and double check this again. So let me let y'all see. And then I have it here starting. I want to make sure. Okay, good. Okay, so that's in there. So now I know I can go all the way down and go ahead and put my lines. And then we're going to have to cut. Ah! Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. I don't, I don't know. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay, so we're going to have the line here. Are y'all ever like that when you try something new? Especially when you're doing it live. <laughs> and you're trying something new. It can be nerve-wracking. Especially when you're doing it live. Okay, so I'm going to bring those together. Okay, and then just bring in this down. Okay, 
And then we are about to Mod Podge this. I'm going to cut it and then mo start Mod Podging it onto the dresser. Oh my gosh, she is so beautiful. Have y'all seen that she, um, she just collaborated on that song, God Only Knows? Have y'all seen that video yet? I just found out the other day she just collaborated on that as well. And she's just such a rock star. Like, she just does not stop, you know, with her innovation. I think that's so important, especially those of y'all that are in the, um, the paint party world, you know, and how many of y'all have been innovating and doing, you know, online parties and stuff like that. It is so, so important. Yeah, Tina, me too. I hope they're the same. <laughs> I so hope. If this goes south, I'm just going to delete this video and we're all going to pretend it never happened. Is that a deal? If this goes south, we're just going to delete and pretend like it didn't happen? <laughs> yeah. Well, Dolly bleep butterflies. <laughs> okay, let me find my scissors. Oh, this part I'm nervous about. I'm going to scissors go. Hold on now. Ow. What the heck? I'm okay. Stepped on a glue gun. It hurt really bad. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this. So you're not freaking out. We are going to do this. It will be worth it in the end, Dolly, I promise. And those of y'all that are new to me, let me know. Um, I like to go back in the comments and look, especially if I can't read them right now. If I can't get to all of them. But um, let me know if um, you're new to my page. And if you've been here a while, let me know as well. I love, love seeing y'all's comments and all of that good stuff, especially when I go back to, to check them out. Okay, Dolly, I'm so sorry. It's for a good cause. Okay, so for those of y'all that are just joining, Bobby went and got me a dresser for, I think he paid $50 for the dresser at Goodwill, or the boy, he went to the Boys and Girls Club. And then um, this is a, a photo we found and had it printed at Staples for about five dollars and then <laughs> and then I'm going to use Mod Podge to put it all back together and the verdict is out if it will actually turn into what I'm envisioning in my head so this is fear being practiced live in front of all of you kind souls doing work on the floor. All right. So yeah, I appreciate y'all's y'all's support while I try this live. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being kind. Because I am very nervous. I do not want to, to do Dolly wrong. Okay, all right, so we got the four pieces. All right, we got four of this, which is good news. I think I should not have done this. I think I'm gonna need this at the bottom. But like I said, I had to, um, I had to change it up a little bit because if not, I was gonna be cutting on her eyes and I did not want that to happen just in case it got weird, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a, um, just a cheap brush from Lowe's or Michael's. Yeah, <laughs> is it Elia? That's so pretty. Fear at its best, my stomach is turning. 
I am like nauseous a little bit, I got to admit. So I, <laughs> I am a little nauseous. Jennifer, thank you. She said your positive attitude will overcome any failure. Yeah, so um, we're about to see. So I told my husband I was a little nervous about this being um, right here. I'm afraid it's going to re-wet it. So I'm a little nervous about that, re-wetting and then getting it on here. So what I'm going to have to do is, is really get the Mod Podge on here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not showing y'all. Let me change it. Um, I'm going to have to get the Mod Podge. That would have been bad if I did the whole first section where you couldn't see it. Um. So I'm gonna have to get the Mod Podge on the dresser first and then almost stick it like a sticker. So I wanna make sure this is, this edge is cut off because we don't want the edge on there. Let me cut that off real quick. And then I will start the first piece. Are y'all ready? If everybody's ready, y'all do a, do a heart or a thumbs up so I can see if everybody's ready. I am not ready, not ready. <laughs> Please don't do a thumbs down. That won't be good. <laughs> be a bunch of like angry faces on this live. That wouldn't be fun. Oh yeah, Carrie says, I love that you go for it live. Yeah, I'm honestly a little scared. I thought, you know what? I'll just measure everything first. Then I'll go live as it's like partially done. And I was like, you know what? This is a good lesson in fear. Like I am terrified right now, but it's, you know, like when you're doing art or creating something, like it's always scary to put yourself out there. But then when you haven't ever done it before, um, it can even be more terrifying <laughs> because you don't know if it's going to be awesome or if it's going to be like, eh, that was all right. Or even worse, you measured wrong or it just looks like crap when you're done. But all right, so we're going to do our best here. So I'm going to take Mod Podge, some of this, and... This is, again, it's just an old beat up dresser from, from the Boys and Girls Club. I just had Bobby kind of wipe it off, and, but we didn't stand, as you can tell, this has been beat up. It's a used and abused, so we're just using it as is. Because I'm using Mod Podge, I have to kind of get it on there and go ahead and stick it on there as quick as possible. You don't want to wait too long. Okay, now I want to kind of even it up. And then just kind of push them down. And I think if, if it all turns out, I think I might go back and add some turquoise paint to the, the dresser but I really wanted to keep the image black and white. Okay, let's see what's going on here. See how fast that Mod Podge dried? It's drying really, really fast. So you have to kind of almost stick it on there pretty quick. And then once you get it on there, I'm gonna start with the lighter area first. See how it can, because it's, it's paper, you gotta work with it. So I'm gonna start with the lighter area first and start pushing down those bubbles. And remember, the Mod Podge is gonna dry clear. It'll all dry totally clear. But you gotta cover the whole thing. So do the light area first, if you're doing a black and white. And you can do this with, you know, like I said, Vicki's the one that really um, inspired this. And she did like a barrel racer. So let's say your kid's into barrel racing or some kind of cool sport. Like, wouldn't that be a really cool way if you have an old beat up dresser and you're wanting to like spruce it up, you could have, you know, your, your, um, oh, water, does that help? Let me try that, a little bit of water. And um, if you, um, let, let's say your kid's like a baseball player or something like that, you could totally do like him, you know, doing a baseball or her. And um, Brandy says, you have to add glitter to Dolly. Of course, that's a great idea, Brandy. Brandy, you have so many good ideas. Okay, so I just added a little water to help it spread. Thank you, Celia, for saying that. I'm using my hand a lot. <laughs> I'm just a little nervous. Okay, so you just want to make sure all of it is covered. And then I almost knocked the dresser over again. 
How many of y'all bet I'm gonna knock this dresser over before I'm done? I'm betting on that. <laughs> Definitely betting on that. Okay, I'm stirring it. And this is the great news about trying something new in front of everybody is I love when y'all kind of help me <laughs> because again, I'm trying something totally new and it can be terrifying and scary and very, very, very nerve wracking. Hope, hoping it's all gonna work out. Okay, I'm gonna add the second piece. This is the part I'm freaking out about. Okay, so let me get some more Mod Podge. Yeah, Bobby's gone right now, so I could go glitter crazy. And then when he comes back, be like, so sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm gonna put a little water. My left hand is literally shaking. I think I'm just so scared to, I don't wanna mess it up. But we gotta work through fear. This is an exercise and working through new projects through fear, right? Because all good things come from taking action through fear. Okay, so now we're gonna do the second. Oh, that water does, does work. It gets it on there a lot faster. Thank you for saying that. Yes, yeah, spray glitter. You know what? I could probably glitter the whole freaking thing when it's done. I bet that would look awesome. Like a clear coat of glitter. Yep, my floor has Mod Podge all over it. It'll make the dirt stick. <laughs> okay, so you gotta remember, you gotta get this part on kind of fast because we're gonna we're gonna put this second. Oh crap! Dang it! I forgot to cut this part, the little edges. Ah, I gotta do it fast. It's trying. Oh no! I forgot. Don't drink. If you can't see me, I don't know if y'all can see me. I'm having to cut the edges. I should have done those first on all of them. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this on here. Hopefully that looks right. Oh my goodness, okay. Did I get her on there right? I think I did. Okay, I think I got her on there right, hopefully. Does that look right? Y'all can probably see it better than I can. I'm like up close, up close to the project. <laughs> okay, so while I'm putting this coat on, I gotta make sure there's like not a lot of black from the, the ink and it seems good. So I'm gonna do the this part first. And remember, the Mod Podge is gonna dry totally clear. So you wanna to try to push the bubbles out the best you can. Okay. Ah. Okay, well I'm having a heart attack right now. Can y'all please let me know your favorite Dolly Parton quote? <laughs> Can y'all please let me know one of my favorites that she says if you, she says something like, um, if you don't like the road you're paving, find another road or something like that. And um, she has a lot of really great ones. But that's one of my, my favorites. So y'all let me know in the comments if you have a favorite Dolly quote. And as y'all know, all of y'all watching, we have our Paint Party Business Live at Dollywood in October. We are social distancing. We have everything set up to where it can be done, social distance. But I know a lot of people want to come, but they can't. So we have added something really, really special that's gonna be available, but it's gonna, we're not gonna say anything about what it is until next week. So if you wanna know more, Make sure you click the link in the description and then you can get on the wait list and we're going to send out next week something really, really exciting. I can't I'm not wait to share. I'm so, so excited about it. So if you are a, a fan of Dolly Parton and you like stuff to do with painting and paint parties and paint party business, do not miss 
the announcement. Okay, so I got that on there. Now I'm going to cut. I'm gonna cut the next time. Let's see. Deborah says, I have so much static in this room, I have to pick up everything but boys and money. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me see here. Ah, okay, so the next part, I'm gonna cut first. My hand is glued. I'm gonna have pieces to take off forever. Do you ever do that? Just let the, the Mod Podge dry on your hands, then you can just pick it off all at once. It's like a big old piece of a, a, a sunburn, like after it's, ugh, it's kind of freaky, but um, I guess some people like that. So the next one, I'm going to, again, go back to this. Oh, I need more, I need more Mod Podge. Oh, Diane, thank you. She says, the quote is, if you don't like the road you're walking on, start paving another one. Oh, and this one, she says, he is so confused. He does not know whether to, to wind or scratch his watch. To wind his watch or scratch, scratch his watch, is that right? Oh, that's a good idea, Tanya. She says use a roller on the top coat to get out. Oh, it's already drying. Roller on the top coat to get out the bubbles. Dang it, I wish I had a roller. That's what, next time I start a new project, I'm gonna do like a I think I'm gonna do a post first and kind of give a little bit about the project so I can get some of y'all's y'all's great tips. Because some of y'all have more of a wheelhouse of furniture painting than I do. Okay, so you I already cut it. Is anybody else as messy as me when they create? <laughs> Am I the only crazy sloppy creator? I know I'm not. Yeah, and Blue's collar, like that we take him for a walk with, was laying on the kitchen floor. And then Bobby said, what do we do? We just take off his collar and throw it on the ground in the kitchen like trash? Like, just act like the kitchen's a trash can? What's going on? And I, I was like, I didn't do it. You know, because me and Pixie are both like kids. We're both like, well, I didn't do it. Well, I didn't do it. And then um, we knew Pixie had done it. And she, um, she said, well, he was going to, I said, well, I just, I said, Pixie said something like, well, he was going to go on a walk again, and I just wanted to leave it there. And I said, well, I didn't do it because usually I don't take it off because I'm like, he's walk ready, right? Like he's ready to go for a walk at all times. It's like this little thing, like this little leash we have. And then Bobby started laughing. He's like, but it's not above you, is it? And I was like, shut up. Sometimes you just get in a hurry, right? You're just messy. I think it's the creative spirit in us. We're just a little bit messier. Okay, so that roller would really come in handy right now. Oh my gosh, I think I'm liking it. Yeah, that roller would have been a great idea. I wonder if I can do that with like a, a cup. Do y'all think I can with a cup or something? I don't know. Let's see if I can. Oh, I love that one. It's hard to be a diamond in a rhinestone world. That's a great one too. What are you doing with that? Oh, I don't know yet. I have, I have something, I'm gonna be announcing something really cool next week. It's actually gonna be a picture for something I'm announcing next week. That is a surprise that is coming next week, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it after. I haven't decided. Honestly, I didn't even know if it was going to turn out. So, so right now I'm, I'm just really excited. It's starting to turn out how I envisioned in my head. So I think I was taking it one step at a time to let's see if it looks cute. And then if it looks cute, I may keep it or sell it. I don't know yet. 
Okay, so I'm trying to get the bubbles. Do y'all think a cup, did y'all say a cup might work? A rolling pin. Oh, I love that one, Donna. You'd be surprised to know how much it costs to look this cheap. That's, that's also one of my favorite Dolly quotes. I love that. You know what I love, besides the fact that she's an un awesome entrepreneur and businesswoman, she, um, she is not scared to like laugh at herself and make fun of herself and, and just live life and have fun. I mean, there are so many people that that take so many things so seriously. And I don't know if it was just growing up with three brothers and a sister, and we just, you, you had to learn to like make fun of yourselves and learn to laugh. You know, you just could not take things seriously or you were gonna be very unhappy growing up. I don't know if that's what it was, but like we, we just, it was just built in us to not take things so seriously. And, um, and I think that's another thing I really admire about her is that, you know, she, she doesn't take life so seriously. You know, she learns, she learned to laugh. She learned to, to have fun while she's, you know, building this huge empire and, you know, donating and all these wonderful things she does. But if you don't know her story, you might just look at her and think, oh, you know, you know, you might think, oh, dumb blonde or something like that. And I'm like, and no, that woman is super smart. Oh my gosh, super smart. And if you haven't um, looked her up, just the things she's doing, she is still today collaborating with, you know, younger people and, you know, figuring out cool ways to do things. And also, for those of y'all that don't know this, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to work. Um, <laughs> now I'm at the end of it. Maybe it might work. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but when she, and I may, I hope I have the story right. If I don't, make sure you correct me. But um, when she was trying to get ready to do Dollywood, to create Dollywood, she had people around her that, you know, didn't think it was a good idea. And she really wanted to give back, you know, and have jobs for people in her, her area where she grew up. And um, instead of just saying, you know, no, that's fine, she fired those people. Like, if they didn't have, you know, the vision she was trying to go for, she's like, nope, you're not going to tell me I can't do it. You're not even going to be on this team. And I thought that was pretty, like, bold of her. You know, because how many, how many times, you know, even as, you know, a woman, sometimes we're like, oh, yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Or, you know, like, this, this lady knows her worth and her value, and she is not scared to try it. She goes for it. And I love that so much about her. And that's one of the things I admire so much about her is she, she has that vision and she has a plan and she goes for it. I just love that. Um, Carol, actually it's, a, it's from a photo and then we just had staples printed. So it's a piece of, um, it's just paper, it's just printed paper. And it cost about $5 to get it printed. And then I'm just using Mod Podge with a little bit of water, thanks to, to Delia on here. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, and then I'm just putting it on here. I'm going to stick it on there like a sticker and then go over the top of it. But yeah, so I know a lot of times like we, we have these projects and I was telling if you're, if you're new to me, you know, this is a project I've never done before. So I'm a little terrified about how it's going to turn out, but I think sometimes we have to, to try stuff even when we're terrified. And the worst thing that can happen is I delete the video when I'm done if it's if it doesn't turn out if it's a total disaster. But I think we're gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, let me see if I can get down here. My body doesn't move like it needs to move down here on the floor for this for this puzzle piece. I don't want to show you all my crack. Let me see if I can get my shirt down. It's very embarrassing. right yeah okay so I'm gonna push it down stick it like a sticker okay okay I think I survived without showing the world my crack today that's good news <laughs> that's good news okay and then I'm just gonna go right on top of it I'm starting in the middle first and then going out 
And yes, I should definitely have had a roller. That would have been a lot. That's a great idea. So do y'all like this? Let me know in the comments if you think this is a cool project. And how many of y'all want to try this maybe with a big picture of like your kid playing baseball or a picture of, you know, your kids when they were younger or, you know, something kind of cool, maybe like a really proud moment they had. Um, you could do that with anything or anybody maybe iconic that you really like, um, you know, like Dolly Parton or something else. And then just Mod Podge over it. And so basically, besides the Mod Podge, which just costs, you know, a few dollars in Mod Podge, we're looking at $50 for the dresser from Boys and Girls Club. And then um, $5 for the, for the coffee from Staples. And then some Mod Podge. A couple bucks for that. So under 60 bucks. And you have a new dresser with some new life to it. So not bad to make kind of a cool art piece. A fan, a fan piece, I guess you should say, fan art. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just take a little bit of this. Oh, that's a great idea. So credit card, yes, thank you so much, Mom. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and just go over it just to have the same finish. as the rest of it. Can y'all see that okay? Oh, thank you, Debbie. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. She says, I wanna do my parents 67, 60 second, wow, 60 second anniversary pics. That is a long time. Oh my goodness, so cool. Yeah, how many of y'all would do this and actually have like a, a photo? Like, let me know in the comments if you want to do like a photo of your kids or maybe it's a, you know, a picture. Like, it'd be kind of cool to do a picture of, you know, as a couple or like you said, you know, Jennifer said her parents. I think this might be really cool to have somewhere in my, my house. I might put it in my office. Just so I can, if I'm having a bad day, I can just look over at Dolly. Say a little prayer, look at Dolly, and go, okay, okay, God, between having some faith in God and a little sprinkle of Dolly, we can do anything, right? <laughs> we can do anything. Okay, so I'm just going to add this little finish all along here. And then we're going to let it dry just a second see how this looks. Okay. All right, so my hands are officially art hands. What do y'all think? Okay, so who's going to try something like this? Let me know in the comments if you're going to try. And you can see it's starting to dry already up here. So it's starting to go back to the same color as it was on the photo. And then it just kind of gets a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. Okay, oh, a picture of your dogs. Oh my gosh, I would love to do this with blue. Wouldn't that be so cool to have a picture of blue? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish there. I'll post a picture of it finished, um, but I wanted to say just a quick reminder. Um, oh yeah, we have a lot of, oh, am I gluing the drawer shut? That's a good, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Is it Charlotte's? Charles, thank you so much. I need to make sure the drawers don't glue shut. <laughs> what would I do without y'all? What would I do without y'all? I'm telling y'all, this is my first time doing this. So I have never done a set like this, a drawer, a drawer ever. Okay, all right, so there we go. Those are gonna dry, so that'll be a little bit better. Okay, so, um, Oh, it was just a, a picture I sent to Staples and they made it big. So I spent about $5 on the picture and I just sent it to Staples. Oh good, we have a lot of people that's gonna try it. And then, let me stop my time lapse. Um, and then the Chester drawers were um, 50 bucks from the um, Boys and Girls Club. And then I did Mod Podge. So I might, what I might do is put some glitter of course, I'm gonna put some glitter somewhere. And then I might do 
some turquoise around it. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, thanks, Kim. She says, I knew you could do it. Yeah, this would be fun. So this is a giant, let me show you how big this is. Okay, so it's this, this tall. I'm 5'7", so it's as tall as me. Well, almost, almost as tall as me. It goes to my boobs. Yep, right there. All right, thank you so much, Rachel. Okay, so Teresa says, I love this and have so many ideas running through my head. I'm gonna try it. Oh, good. And um, what print option? So this is just a paper. It's not, um, it's a, like a poster paper. So it is not the, um, it is not like the photo. So it was only like five bucks. Yeah, Faith, I might glitter the whole thing actually. I'm thinking I might glitter it. Um, thank y'all so much for watching this. And I just wanted to say, any of y'all that, that not only love Dolly Parton, but you love stuff to do with paint party stuff, um, I have a really special announcement next week. I cannot wait to share it. It's big news, and it's the first time I've ever done anything like this. So if you want to know what that announcement is and be the first to hear it, make sure you click the link in the description. It's going to lead you to the Paint Party Business Live, which the tickets are already sold out on that. But if you click, you can get on the wait list. And I'm going to send out something pretty awesome that is coming next week. So make sure you click on that so you can get on the wait list and be the first to hear. I cannot wait to share what is coming. It's so exciting. We've been working on it. We've been excited and it's finally getting ready to be released to you. So I can't wait to share. All right, guys, please let me know in the comments what you like about this and if you're gonna do one yourself. And if you are, if it's gonna be um, you know, a fan art like this or if it's gonna be a parent, a grandparent, maybe a kid doing a, a baseball swing or something fun like that. And I cannot wait to see what you do. And please send me a picture and let me see it. All right, guys, I'll see y'all soon. And I'm going to go figure out how to do something with this. I think I'm just going to set gross all out. <laughs> isn't that nasty? That's pretty gross, isn't it? <laughs> Linda, I'm going to share next week. I think we should have all the details ready. This is kind of fun, actually. I think we should have the details ready. <laughs> so gross by um let's see what's today should have them ready by thursday of next week but to make sure that you don't miss um go ahead and put your name on um that waiting list and then we'll email out next week all right guys i'll talk to y'all soon bye